welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today is going to be kind of like a vlog. I'm not really into that, but I'm going to do one anyway. Because I would like to discuss something as I was writing one of my uh, entries for my blog on WordPress, which I highly recommend you go look at, or you're already watching this because it's on the post. But I've been hit that point in my life. I'm at a turning point where I am changing jobs and I want to take advantage of the change because I am somebody that is constantly trying to change to be a better person, including weight. Of, I mean, um, but there's also other things that I want to change and it doesn't just involve weight entirely or health. Um, some other, you know, I've got at least four main ones. I try to stick with that. Now, some people are like, well, you should probably focus on one at a time. The problem is if I did that, I would never get anything done in my life because I would never finish it. I would get distracted or I would just be like stressing out over other things that need to be done. And I'd be like, well, I should have been doing this while I was doing this. But the good thing about it, normally most of these goals, they're going to all tie together somehow. So it should kind of give you like a byproduct. Now, also, I don't put my goals into like extreme detail. I, I keep them kind of vague. And I know for like that smart thing with goals, that's not a good idea. But for me, I've had to learn that I can give myself a date and it makes me just not want to do it. <laughs> I know it's weird for some people, I'm, a, well, I, I procrastinate on it. And then like if you're trying to achieve goals, you can't really procrastinate on it. It doesn't, you don't just lose weight overnight. So I've learned that, you know, weight loss is not a journey. It is about changing your lifestyle to have a better lifestyle because you can lose weight. Trust me, I've been there. I've lost like 30 pounds in one month from, I would do like, uh, I would run a mile and then I would do yoga for like an hour. It was like 45 minutes maybe. And I lost about 30 pounds in a month by increasing my exercise and decreasing how much I eat. I would like to just talk about my goals and maybe somebody else can get some advice from it. If I'm going to put something online, I want to make sure that it benefits everybody involved or I might as well just write it in my diary, right? <laughs> Plus, this gives me experience to be making videos and gives me a hobby. It keeps me from staying in my head too much over analyzing my life. It keeps me, keeps me from getting in trouble pretty much. <laughs> Which I think for some that's like the opposite on YouTube and doing social media. Now I don't use social media just because I just have discovered that it's not very healthy and I would like to, I already struggle with anxiety and overthinking and social skills. I think adding social media into that mix really causes an issue. But first of all, let's, I mean, let's just talk about my goals and what I plan on doing. For the next few months I kind of plan out my goals right now my goals are just planned out from starting next week all the way until March and that's where I'm kind of like that's my point when I get to that point then I'll reassess and figure out what where do I go from next so I'm always looking ahead without looking ahead I'm trying to live day by day without feeling the stress of the anxiety from the future my main goals that I have for the next few weeks, since I am changing jobs, I will be sitting more. So I'm definitely gonna have to work on getting in my exercise because I am someone, I don't function well without exercise. And I find it odd to meet people that can. I'm just like, are you really, really functioning well? Or are you just kind of in denial? But for me, like I have to get exercise in. Eventually my body, what it does is it kind of starts to get this feeling inside of I, well, it's, I have ADHD, so that could be why, but I get that feeling of just instant hyperness, and I'm just like, okay, I have to go run a mile. I need to go do something. I need to go dance hiking. I need something uh, out of my system. I went on a three-mile hike a couple weeks ago, and it was literally what my body needed. It was like my body just restarted afterwards. Like, my stomach just flushed out everything awful, and my anxiety just went down. Like, for me, exercise is important for mental health and physical health. <laughs> so, of course, like my main goal in life is to lose weight and be healthier. And a few things would be more exercise, and which I'm gonna actually have to pay attention more than I ever have before. Every job I've ever had, normally I have to work like on my feet all day long. So this is gonna be the first time where I'm like sitting all day and I know my back's not gonna handle it well. So yoga, hello, we're gonna be friends again. Um, 
Also, one thing that is starting to become very important to me as I'm getting older, I'm starting to get a fear of diabetes and having to have some kind of illness that is caused by being overweight. I think that's from the fact that I have thyroid disease now and I'm like, great. I already had to change my diet. I had to really, really learn how to listen to my body way more than I ever have before. It's actually kind of cool because now that I look back, there were situations when I wasn't feeling well. I'm like, you know what? I think my body back then was trying to tell me not to eat something or do something that I, I was doing. Um, it's amazing to kind of see that. Especially like I struggle with cravings and now you know, now I'm trying to acknowledge, why are you craving this way? So whenever I have a strong craving, I want to make sure, hey, why are you, why, why, hey, why do you want, what's going on? Why do you want this about? So, and then the next thing would be to eat more whole foods. So I've been watching countless cooking videos, Gordon Ramsay all the way, been working on my techniques. Somebody that I watch on YouTube, he said a very good point. If you know how to cook, you can cook healthy and not make it expensive. So he's right. If you know how to take basic vegetables and a protein and you know how to flavor it up, then there you go. Like, example would be, if I have a cup of rice, a chicken breast, and some mushrooms, can I make different styles of food so that while I'm eating the same kind of food, I'm not getting the same kind of taste every time I cook it. Whatever cheap, you know, being able to take super cheap food and make it into something better with your seasoning and with your techniques and how you cook it. So I've been really trying to address that instead of just coming home and putting in a, something in the oven or in the microwave. Uh, I try to stay away. I, I, I read labels more now. I was a chemist, so for me, reading labels, I, some words may be scary for some, but for me, I can kind of figure out, okay, ferrous sulfate was in one of my mom's, what was that? And I'm like, you'll be fine. That, that's not toxic. That, that, that's not bad. I know that ETA, e, ETA is a ETA is a preservative. I'm like, oh, that one's not bad for you either. It's actually a really good one to use. So, like, you know, I know that kind of information when I look at something. Um, I see like from and I stay away. That's an inside joke. Um, so I've been trying to like focus on that kind of stuff. Now, that's basically or well, then cutting out soda, which I mean. Dining table, but that and one other thing the only soda I have in my apartment, so that's pretty good. Um, I definitely cut back way back on soda. I'm pretty proud of myself. What I did for that was I basically went to the off brands, and because they're not as good as the normal brands, it's been easier for me <laughs> to move off of it. And then I also have like pink lemonade, which are like, well, you're just switching out sugars. Well, yeah, I'm trying to get cut back on the caffeine and the carbonation first, and then I'll try to weave off and go straight to just water. So it's not like I'm just, I can't cut things cold turkey. My body never reacts well to cutting certain things cold turkey by the, I can make it for like three days and then I'll start getting headaches. Um, so I try not to be drastic in any diet changes that I make, especially always consult a physician. Don't seem Google's right. <laughs> so then that takes care of like the health aspect that I plan on. I would like to join a gym, but you know how things are going right now. So I'm going to kind of wait and find a gym that I can afford to and then I will join going to. So then that gets rid of that goal. The next goal I have is something that somebody with ADHD, I'm always trying to work on being more organized with my life, including cleaning, keeping my car clean, getting the oil changed on that, any kind of maintenance stuff I really want to focus on being better at. Because ideally if you keep up with your stuff, keep your apartment clean, keep your car clean, you'll they'll have longer life. Um, and you may not have to spend more money when something goes wrong. You just will try to prevent problems that you do are unnecessary. So that was kind of easy. Uh, I'm planning out my week. But I don't want to be a control freak at the same time. I want to keep my, I want to stay flexible, but I kind of want to make sure I have a sense of direction about what's going on in the week. That takes care of that goal. The next one I have So the next one I have 
is that I'm trying to improve my social skills. And this is one of the reasons why I do these videos. I'm working on a confidence building and putting these videos out there for people to see. It's really actually helped me with my speaking, feeling more confident how I speak. And I've been reading how to win people and in how to win friends and influence people. Uh, that's actually a good book. I was not expecting that to be the. I started reading and I was like, okay, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, so far, I enjoyed it. And then there's another book, but it's only like seven pages long, so that one won't take long. And I like that one because basically what it's telling you to do is that social skills are not just something you're born with. It's something you are you learn and that everybody has the chance to improve on them and it tells you kind of how to improve your social fluency which I, I appreciate that and it kind of makes me feel a little bit more optimistic because I'm at a new job so I'm not going to be around the same kind of people that I was at my last job. It's a completely different field. I want to make sure that I can get along with the majority of my coworkers. I would like some more friends. Um, I would like to find eventually would like to go on dates and finally get a boyfriend eventually I don't know whether that's gonna happen but time will tell and I really want to work on my social skills my biggest problem is I don't do well in social awkward uncomfortable situations and the book the second book I read brought up the fact that yeah you, the only way to work through those is you, to go through them so that sucks <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I would consider myself a little more introvert just because I don't want to deal with those problems. But I'm also an extrovert because I enjoy meeting new people. I, I enjoy when things are going well in a group. I'm not scared of large crowds. I'm actually scared of the smaller ones because you are more vulnerable. So it's nice to kind of hide among the crowd in that situation. So that's something I'm also working on. And then the last one, which I'm actually really proud to talk about of myself especially the holiday season. I am so proud of myself. I think last month was probably the least amount of money I've spent in a long time. Um, with my career change, my pay scale is gonna change for a little bit. So I had to kind of make adjustments on my expenses. I really questioned what each subscription I had, you know, who I pay for my phone, internet, cable, you know, finding ways to get free things. Because there are a lot of free things that are offered. You just have to know how to find them. That's the trick. And that's a good thing. We don't want that to change. Because then if everybody's going on that free item, eventually they're not going to make it free anymore. But finding indie movies. I mean, there's a lot of things. So I'm just trying to find ways to save a few extra bucks. I want to say pennies. Like for me, penny isn't that much. But I want to save. If I, if I had a choice between... $20 or $25, I'm going to spend $20 and save that $5 for something else. But the reason why I'm trying to be such a penny pincher right now is I have the intentions of getting a new car here soon. The car I currently have is about 11 years old. It is. My camera's getting a little old. It's kind of about time for it to uh, break out on me. I'm waiting. I don't want it to. I'd rather have a new car before it does it, but if it, I need to be prepared. So I'm already going to try to get a new car and... So I want to go ahead and have as much money that I can to put down. I don't have a lot of money. I'm not the richest person. I don't have. I don't make a lot of money. Uh, I do save a lot of money. But I'm really hoping that I am able to find a car that I can get from point A to point B. I'm not going to be picky. But I just need a car to get me from point A to point B. And that's all I need. So I feel like that's kind of going to help out. So that's basically what I'm looking at until March. The, the good thing is my eating less is going to tie with my money budget. So no eating out, um, no liquor, ignore the liquor on the table, and well I'm not going to buy any liquor, and I'll take free stuff. <laughs> basically I feel like I'm going to live like a college student again for at least the next two months. See here's why I'm excited. I basically finished Christmas. I've got like two items left and that's like it. And those are like ten dollar items, like they're not expensive. So I'm kind of excited. I managed to spend less last month than in a long time. I'm pretty happy with myself. I've ate less out and my stomach is shrinking. See here's the thing, when we eat high calorie foods that are a lot of foods and drink soda and all that, you can expand your stomach and taste your taste buds can change. So when you start trying to lose weight or you try to 
you eat less or whatever, eventually your body will adapt to that change. Uh, I struggle with withdrawal, like crazy with stuff. So I try to be careful with what I'm doing, especially like though withdrawal from caffeine makes me feel sick and then I just end up drinking it. So if I really want to be realistic about how I want to put something, I have to be off of it. Uh, another issue I have is I don't drink enough water so that I'm hoping that takes care of by getting rid of soda. I'm going to drink more. Eating less, well, if I'm not going to have the money to buy the food, I'm not going to be able to eat it. So I'm uh, not getting fast food. And then I, I think that's about it. I've done really well with the money budget. I would like to do some more videos for uh, that will take up more time for me <laughs> so that I don't overeat. I, that, oh, the biggest thing I would say in the last month, I made sure that if I was hungry, I would cook something, and then while I was eating, I would ask myself, are you full yet? Subconscious, well, consciously, like I would, not out loud, but in my head I would be like, okay, are you full? Okay, are you full now? Are you full now? And then I was like, okay, yeah, now I'm full. Like I'm, I've actually started to kind of try to have that conversation with myself when I'm eating. Okay, don't eat too fast. Focus on what you're doing. Food is fuel. Um, so I'm trying to fix that conversation. Fix that disconnect. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my life. I'd love to hear about yours. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Leave comments down below. Feel free to follow me on my blog. Thank you, everybody, and I hope you guys have a great day, okay?